peer to peer architecture p2p peer to peer architecture is a decentralized network architecture where each participant or peer acts as both a client and a server this model allows peers to share resources such as files bandwidth and processing power directly with each other without requiring a central coordination point p2p networks are highly scalable and robust as they can con- continue to operate even if some peers disconnect now some of the components of p2p architecture include first peers when which are nodes in the network that both use and provide resources each peer is an autonomous entity that directly interacts with other peers we have shared resources data or services that are available to other peers in the network such as files content streams or computational resources we have a overlay network a virtual network layer that sits on top of the physical network connecting peers in ways that optimize data sharing paths then we have routing mechanisms protocols and algorithms used to discover and connect to other peers handle resource requests and manage data transmission paths this is an overall gist of peer to peer architecture now what are the benefits first one is redundancy and reliability data can be stored on multiple peers increasing the robustness and fault tolerance of the network scalability as more peers join the network the total system capacity increases often improving performance and resource availability cost efficiency the distribution of resources provision and consumption can reduce the need for expensive server infrastructure and bandwidth for drawbacks we have security risk the decentralized nature can make p2p networks susceptible to security issues such as data integrity attacks and the spread of malicious files then we have data consistency ensuring that all copies of shared data are up to date can be challenging dependency on peer contribution the performance and health of the network depend on the contribution of resources by all peers free riding peers consuming resources without providing them can in, can degrade network performance let's look at an example um, a well known example of p2p network is the bit torrent protocol for file sharing in this the peers are the individual users computers that download and upload files we have the shared resources which are files that are segmented and shared across multiple peers we have the overlay network which is the bit torrent protocol uh, the bit torrent protocol creates a network where peers connect directly to exchange pieces or f- files we have routing mechanisms bit torrent clients use information from torrent trackers or distributed hash tab hash tables to find out other peers who have the files file pieces they need let's look at the real world analogy now a neighborhood tool sharing program can serve as an analogy for a p2p network each household which is peer can borrow tools which are resources from others and lend <coughs> out their own tools without a centralized lending library the efficiency and variety of tools available increases as more household participate now what are the popular use cases where this architecture is used first one is file sharing applications services like bittorrent allow users to share and download large files efficiently by distributing the file transfer load across many peers we have cryptocurrencies blockchain technologies such as bitcoin use a p2p network to manage and verify transactions without a certain authority of distributed computing projects we have um, initiatives like seti at home use volunteer computing power from peers around the world to process data for scientific research p2p architecture leverages the power of network collaboration to achieve scalable and efficient resource sharing it's particularly effective in scenarios where central coordination is not desirable or feasible making it popular choice for file sharing distributed applications and collaborative networks 
If you have any more questions on P2P, leave them in the comments.